Yo, what is up guys, Smoothie here, bringing you a little tech support video. Uh, a few of my friends recently have had to port forward their Xboxes, and I was thinking it'd be a good change of pace for the channel, so I just want to bring a quick uh, commentary or tip or whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, because I know when I had to port forward my Xbox or you can, PS3 or whatever you have to port forward, uh, I was pretty damn confused, so I'm going to help you guys out today. I don't know if any of you guys need to port forward your Xbox, but basically, basically port forwarding, if you have a moderate or a close strict to that type, it's because your Xbox is sharing the IP with two, your a certain IP with too many devices. So I know at my house, I uh, we have two laptops, a desktop, a iPad, multiple phones, all connecting to a default IP. And that's what gives you your uh, your moderate NAT type, is when you're sharing the IP with too many devices. And basically this is how you're going to change it. So you're going to want to find out your router's default IP. Uh, this I have a Linksys, so you can look online, just look up, uh, I don't know how many router companies there are, but this is just an example. If you have Linksys, just look up Linksys default IP, and you're going to get something like this, 192.168.1.1. I know for a fact this is Linksys, so you're going to open up your browser, click on that, uh, and you're going to get this title page. So basically, all you have to do, if no one's messed with your password, then you should be able to type in admin for the username and admin for the password. Uh, if admin admin does not work, then that means someone has edited your settings, uh, most likely your parents. So you're going to want to talk to them about what the password is and how to get on there. Uh, I really doubt too many people actually change their passwords because I know for a fact that my parents are not tech savvy. So I don't even think they know this exists, to be completely honest. So when you're here, you're going to see a few things. You're going to want to make sure you remember your subnet mask for the X when we transition over to the Xbox. Starting IP address doesn't really matter. Uh, where? Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is go to administration. And again, this is for Linksys. So if you're using a different router, uh, you may have to find, like, you might have to, like, search around a little bit. I don't know. You're going to want to enable UPnP, Universal Plug and Play. I don't really know what this does, but it helps apparently. But let's go over to the bread and butter of what you're going to be doing here. The port forwarding. So what you see here is I have four ports. Don't worry about these. I had a friend over one time and we I port forwarded that Xbox too. So these are not enabled as you can see. So don't worry about that. What we're going to be doing here is giving your Xbox a different IP. So as you can see here, the IP is 192.168.1.200 instead of .100. .100 is the default IP that my laptop uses, my mom's laptop uses, my sister's iPad uses. Everything is connected to that IP, so what I did is give my Xbox 200. And basically what you're going to want to do is just you can name these whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if you have like a PS3 and an Xbox, obviously you're probably going to want to just name these Xbox 1, 2, 3 and so on and so forth. So you have all these and you're going to want to copy these uh, these port ranges down 80 to 80, 88 to 88, 3074 to 3074 and 53 to 53. And then you're going to want to enable them all. So that pretty much is what is all you have to do on the computer so and then you're gonna have to for you're gonna have to save settings right here just wait a little bit settings are successful and now we're gonna be transferring over to the Xbox so I'll see you in a few seconds alright what is up guys we are now at my Xbox home dashboard whatever thingy you wanna call it so there's a few things that are that are going to be different for you. For one, uh, most likely you will not be able to connect to Xbox Live uh, if you did it right. 
you should not be able to because you changed your Xbox's IP. So right now your Xbox is trying to use an IP that no longer works. So you're probably not going to be able to connect. So I did because I didn't change my Xbox's stuff because I already have, I already port forwarded it. So we go to here and go settings, network settings. If you're on PS3, go to the equivalent things PS3 has, I guess. Choose which one you have. I have wired. Wired is better in every way. Just use wired if you can. Uh, you want to configure your network. So, as you can see here, my IP settings are on manual because you have to change them manually. So we have the IP that we port forwarded. It. Port. Oh my God. Port forwarded. Dead, dead. I cannot say forwarded very well. So I don't know if I did that earlier in the video. If I did, leave a comment because that's pretty funny. So 192.168.1.200 have the subnet mask. Make sure you remember that and the gateway is what we used for to get to the uh, port forwarding page. So I'm I think if you can't find your uh, gateway IP, you can go on your Xbox, go to your IP settings, and it'll be there. So I'm just gonna open up a little notepad file so I'll make sure I don't forget any of this stuff. I would highly suggest you do too because it's just it takes a little bit of extra time. Chill out, Exynos. It just takes a little bit of extra time, but if you fuck up the first time, it will well, save your ass. I have not port forwarded anything in quite a while, so I just want to make sure I don't fuck up. All right, so to uh to kind of simulate what would happen if I was trying to use a default IP is now you can see that I'm no longer connected because I'm using the wrong IP so configure network that's the IP I was using 0.124 uh, I don't know why it defaulted to that but as you can see everything else is the same <coughs> except the IP so that IP is not port forwarded which is why I cannot connect don't be scared if you can't connect uh, I want to go to manual and it makes you change everything by yourself you can't keep it like you can't it doesn't keep the subnet mask even though it's always the same so you're gonna to want to do this 192.1 just do what any I mean the last numbers by the way they don't really matter uh, it's just that there's less if your family is tech savvy and actually does this kind of stuff then it w I would highly recommend choosing a very high IP because there's very little chance that any other devices would share the same IP as 0.200. So now we have to enter this. 255. Enter all that. Alright. Then the default gateway. Alright, done. Let's see if we can connect. Hopefully we can or else I'm gonna look like a dumbass. And we are connected. So that's port forwarding in a nutshell right there. Uh I personally I like making this video. I thought it was a real nice change of pace. So if you guys want any tech help whatsoever, if you want tutorials on how to do stuff, if you want you know, I don't know, if it, anything you want that involves the computer. Uh, I'd like to think I'm at least somewhat educated when it comes to the basics of uh, PCs and stuff. Sorry, I don't have a Mac. I don't like Macs. So if you want a Mac tutorial, that's kind of too bad. Oh my god. Alright, I guess I'm going to join Exynos' party. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.